Here's a two for one update video. Update you on the status of my pistol course. My target's out there. I finally settled in on 10 inch plates across the top and eight inch plates across the bottom. Uh, last video I made, which was on the uh, Beretta M922 LR uh, review and update, I showed you 10, uh, eight inches and six inch plates. And I said the six inch plates were just a little bit too challenging to hit. So I ended up getting some 10 inch circles fabricating them for my pistol plate rack and I got a token six inch stuck out on the end there on the left just to show you the comparison yeah it's kind of small now you can hit it if you bear down on it and concentrate but uh, we all like to kind of shoot and plank and have fun and uh, those six inches require kind of a lot of focus and concentration but uh, the real reason for this video is a review and update on a gun here the Sig Sauer SP20 22 that had some problems had a failure with it uh, the SIG's a great gun it's been reviewed many many times nothing new about this gun it's been out since what 10 or 11 I acquired this gun in the mid-year 2012 been shooting it quite often and it developed a problem and the problem was it kind of went into uh, double action only um, when you would fire the first round and the slide would retract the hammer would not stay cocked. It would follow the slide back down. So I called Six Hour, talked to them a little bit about it. Um, they first sent me out a courtesy recoil spring. I told them I'd try that. I did, it didn't work. So we had to send the gun back in. So here's how it works with Six Hour, just to let you know. Uh, if it's within a year of purchase, it's covered. If it's outside of a year, you gotta pay shipping both ways. Shipping both ways for me, in Central Texas worked out to be about 55 bucks but they, re they repaired it sent it back it took about two weeks 15 16 days a little over two weeks to get it back works great now and uh, let me close it here to show you of course it's empty closing it and if you look closely here they put a brand new hammer on there that's what they ended up doing uh, there wasn't uh, many details on the return um, nomenclature, the return paperwork, about what exactly they did. Uh, the problem, they call it, would not stay cocked. That's how the, the gunsmith identified it. I said it would be double action only. Kind of the same thing, I guess. And they put a brand new hammer on there. So apparently some sear inside there or some mechanism wore out or broke or cracked or whatever. So I got it repaired uh, for free, I guess. But, uh, you know, you didn't have to pay shipping. And to follow up here, this is what those targets look like. This is a six inch target. And so out there in the, in the distance, that's three eighths inch hot roll material. It's not hardened, it's not AR 500, 400. It's just regular old uh, carbon steel, but three eighths material. Three eighths material withstands everything 44 mag and less. Uh, we tried all that on it. 45 auto is good, 357 is good. Of course, nines, 38s, 22s, all that's fine. And then we take a little uh, piece of one inch tubing, one inch square tubing and weld it on. And then of course we slide that over the rail. And so when you hit it, it allows it to pivot and uh, knocks the bullets down into the ground. Great little system uh, that we have set up there. And my supports, as you can see about there distant, are a couple, just a couple of little T-posts I found out here on the property. And the uh, horizontal pieces are part of an old windmill they're part of the sucker rods on a windmill. Uh, if you know what that is, you can take a laugh. If you don't know what that is, uh, look that up. But that's the rod that goes down into the well that pulls the water out. They're tempered steel, very nice and hard, about a half inch in diameter. And they work great for my pistol target. So uh, that was one of the constraints out here to get this thing set up as I wanted to repurpose things I found out on the property to minimize cost. Of course, I did have to buy the plates. I had those cut uh, from the plasma shop over at River City Steel here in Central Texas. And they cut them out for me, about $12 a piece, so that's not so bad. All right, so that's the update. The SP2022 back in the project, back in the house, looking good, working perfect. And uh, back from SIG, took all uh, working perfect again. Uh, so yes, these SIG sours can fail, but SIG stands behind their work. Did a great job of fixing it works fantastic now i've had a couple hundred rounds to it without a problem all right that's the end of this video thanks for watching like and comment